Hello and welcome. If you have an off-the-shelf or fully custom 3D printer, you can now add a profile for it in your favorite slicer. To access it, you can click here in the top left corner. Then click on Add, select the type of printer you want, filament in our case, go to the bottom of the list of the printers already available, and click on the Custom Printer button to open the wizard. Here you can choose between adding a printer you bought that is not available in the slicer, or adding a custom 3D printer with its own parameters, size, name, and more. Note that this feature is only available for filament printers. We will start with a purchase 3D printer, but the process is the same for a custom one. Click on the purchase 3D printer and go to the next step. Here you can define the brand name and the 3D printer name. If you choose to add a purchase printer, make sure to select the brand name from the drop down menu if it's available, and enter the correct name for the printer. New printer profiles will help us speed up the process of adding new official profiles for the community. For the 3D printer name, make sure to type the name correctly as seen on the packaging. Now let's say you want to add the latest printer made by Lychee Workshop, the Lychee Maker Pro. The next step is the choice of the extruder, Bowden if you have a plastic tube connected to the hot end, or direct drive if the extruder is integrated into the print end. Let's choose a direct drive. Now the category of printer, Delta, Cartesian, or Core XY. Let's choose a Core XY. On this screen, you can change the volume of your printer. The banana is here to give you a sense of scale. Now the choice of the speed preset your printer will be able to handle, I would suggest keeping something similar to the profile provided by the manufacturer. Finally, you have a summary of your choices and you can validate the profile creation. When the profile is added, the slicer creates a material profile based on the 3D printing parameters you just selected. You can edit these default parameters like any other printer. Check out our other videos in this channel to help you along your 3D printing journey. Our Discord server is also available should you need any additional help, links in the description. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.